All right in here? Yes, Nanny. Bunsen's about to demonstrate his latest invention. What is it anyway? I know. It's a six-passenger spaghetti-powered tennis shoe grinder, right? No. I invented that last week. Right, Beaker? <laughs> this is my do-it-yourself 3D TV show machine. Hop in and I'll show you how it works. Glass it on. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. Hey. 3D TV ready. Blast off, animal. Okay. Blast. Ah. <laughs> wow. It really does look 3D. Hey, we're getting awful close to the side, Bunsen. Wow. I think your invention's busted, Bunsen. This doesn't look 3D to me. Wow. 3D, 3D. Hey! My pants! Whoa! Wow! This stuff's cool! It's better than 3D! It's at least 4D! Gonzo, sit down! Careful, Gonzo! You're tipping the wagon! Wow! Look out! We're gonna crash! scary, eh, Ralph? <laughs> ah, looks like my nose was running. <laughs> What's going on in here? Um, we were watching Bunsen's new 3D TV, Nanny. Yeah, until it crashed. Is everyone all right? Yeah, we're all right, Nanny. <laughs> well, I think you'd better clean up this room, and next time be more careful. Okay, okay Nanny. Nanny. Nice guy. Gonzo, you almost got us in big trouble. Yeah, you're just lucky no one got hurt. Right, Ralph? <laughs> Ralph? <laughs> hey, something's the matter with Ralph. He doesn't look very well. What is it, Ralph? <laughs> oh, I get it. You lost your tonsils and you want us to go to the pet shop and buy a new pair. Fuzzy? Sorry. I got it. You lost your piano. And you want us to take a look and see if it's in your tummy. Let me take a look. Um, I see a couple of organs, but there aren't any pianos. Whoa! Oh, I got it, I got it. You lost your voice. Is that true, Ruth? Gee, he must have lost his voice when we crashed. Ah, oh, gee, it's all my fault. I must have knocked it out of his throat when I crashed Bunsen's 3D TV. Oh, it's not your fault, Gonzo. Yeah, he lost it from all that yelling and shouting. Well, if it's lost, there's only one thing to do. What? We've got to go find it. Oh, boy. Anybody know what a voice looks like? Maybe if we look at one of our own voices, we'll know what to look for. Good idea, Piggy. Animal, let me see your voice. Say, ah. Uh. Gee, I knew your new voice could look like a truck. Did you? Gee, Kermit, that didn't work. Oh, dear. How will we ever find 
loved voice. Leave it to me, my precious pink piglet. I, Sherlock Gonzo, am the greatest detective in the world. Hmm. Okay, Ralph, tell me, where did you last see your voice? Speak up, I can't hear you. Hmm. Aha! I've solved the case. The cat's got his tongue. It's an open and shut case. Oh, my oh, my to talk to him. Uh, what will we say to him? I know. Let's tell him a story go round. A uh, what? It's simple. One of us starts to tell a story, then after three minutes, the next person continues where the first person left off. That sounds like fun. I'll get the egg timer. Aha! I found Ralph's voice. Here's the egg timer. You start, Kermie. Um, do I have to? Yes! Three minutes, huh? Well, okay, here goes. Um, once upon a time, uh, there was this place. Gee, not much of a place, is it? Is my time up yet? You still have two minutes and 48 seconds. Oh, that much, huh? Hmm, I, I wonder what makes a good story. I, I guess I need a hero like, uh... Indiana Frog! Now I need a dramatic setting. Let's see now. Hmm. How about a jungle? With wild animals. Hmm. And mean-looking natives. <laughs> Gosh, making up stories is easier than I thought. Now all I need is a title. Hmm. That's it. I'll call it... Raiders of the Lost Bark! <laughs> and so, Indiana Frog came upon a tower of ancient ruins. Um, that's not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> that's better. That's a scary bark. Would you guys mind if I change the title to Raiders of the Lost Meow? Keep going, Kermit. It's just starting to get interesting. Oh, okay. Um, and so Indiana Frog climbed and climbed then climbed to the top of the ancient temple. <laughs> Things are gonna get exciting now. I can tell by the music. Oh. Hey, not bad for a little baby frog. <laughs> As the heroic green frog made his way through the creepy passageway... Phew, that was close. One more step and I'd have been an Indiana frog burger. Hold the onions. Oh, that's cat 
ketchup. That's what they all say. Knock it off, Gonzo. You're ruining my story. First there was that hamburger trap, and then the soft drink trap. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, there should be just one more trap left. <laughs> I knew it! The greasy french fry trap. have the last bark. And if I'm not careful, he's gonna have the last croak, too. And then, they've all looked lost, and Indiana Frog was about to become junk food, he... Oof! No fair! I'm not finished yet! You're not supposed to finish, Kermit. That's the way the game goes. Okay, Piggy, you're on. Now you just sit back and relax, Ralph, while I continue where Kermie left off. <clears throat> where were we? Oh, yes. As Indiana Frog was about to become junk food. Huh? Sleeping Beauty danced gracefully across the stage. Hey, wait a minute. That's not how you're supposed to do it, Piggy. It's my story now, Indiana Frog, and I'll tell it however I want! That's better. Ta-da! Thank you, thank you! In times past, there lived a king and queen. One day. Whoops! That we had a child. What does that mean, Skeeter? It's poetry talk for we want to have a baby, silly. We do? And so it happened that Sleeping Beauty was born. I am the lovely, sweet, kind, and modest Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Twinkle toes. <laughs> no, me no. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful spinning wheel! What are you spinning? Cat's cradle. <laughs> Spinning spindle. I wonder what would happen if I touched it. Ow! No sooner had Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger than an evil spell fell over her and she fell asleep for a hundred years. Fortunately, there was one thing that could wake Sleeping Beauty. A kiss from her handsome prince. The, uh, do I have to say it? Yes! <laughs> okay. Hark! The lovely, sweet, kind, snoring... I mean, uh, sleeping beauty. And so, the handsome prince 
leaned over Sleeping Beauty, puckered up, and... Phew! Saved by the bell. What? You! It's not my fault. Your time was up. Honest. <laughs> Doing well. Hmm. Not so spectacular, hmm? Hey, it's your turn, Scooter. I'm starting the timer. <laughs> Where did we leave off? Oh, yeah. Just as the handsome prince was about to kiss Sleeping Beauty, a computer salesman entered. What? A, a computer, computer salesman? salesman? Oh, well, okay. Uh, how about a vacuum cleaner salesman? Castles get dusty, you know. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh! Yay! Hey! Oh, it's no use. I don't know how to tell a story. You're doing great, Scooter. I am? Sure. These musical instruments are a great idea. They are? Of course. Every good story needs a song. <laughs> yes, yeah, Scooter, sing a song. Hey, that's right. Okay, uh, here goes. Well, he's got floppy ears and a cold, wet nose. Smiling all the time. All the time, all the time. We even know him in the dark when we hear that familiar bark. Show us the real you. He's trying to real the real you. But that's not you. We want to hear that special sound. For it, Skeeter. Okay, I'll start right where Scooter left off. Just as the song had ended, and everyone was feeling good, uh, a police motorcycle drove up. Who are you? I'm TJ Skeeter, police girl, and I'm searching for the bark nappers who took Ralph's bark. Don't look at me. I haven't napped all day. No, but she has. But I'm Sleeping Beauty. I'm supposed to be napping. Oh, yeah? Well, a good cop doesn't take any chances. Up against the wall, pig. I beg your pardon? Okay, spread them. The Screen Actors Guild will never let you get away with this, Skeeter. <coughs> What's this? Well, how should I know? Piggy, you have the right to remain silent. Ah! I'm getting out of this crazy story. Wow. Hey, uh, wait for me. Uh, uh, uh. This is Sergeant T.J. Skeeter. I'm after the bark nappers. I'll need some backup. Are you the backup? Nope, I'm Sherlock Gunzo. They're the backup. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! 
Chan. Attention all units. I need a roadblock at the corner of Hudson and Fifth Street. 10-4. What are you talking about, Animal? That's not a story. That's baby talk. Animal no tell story. Animal eat story. <laughs> Good story. Excuse me. Did I just hear a bark? Uh-uh. Good. <laughs> That's unbelievable. There's absolutely nothing underneath us. Uh huh. You know what that means? Uh huh. What? Bye bye. Whoa! Good story, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was cool, animal. You should be more careful, Gonzo. Yeah, you could have gotten hurt. Relax. Sherlock Gonzo always has everything under control. <laughs> Look out! Phew, <laughs> that was close. Yeah, we almost got clobbered. Thanks, Rolf. If you hadn't have shouted out, we... Hey, your voice! What about my voice? You just found your bark! Woof! Woof woof! Say, you're right! My voice came back! Oh boy! It's my turn to tell the story! Don't bother, Fozzy! Yeah, Ralph's got his voice back! We're through telling stories! But the story isn't over yet! There's still some time left, see? Uh-uh. Uh, where do I start? Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna turn it into a comedy. Here I go. Once upon a time... Hey, no fair! Join in the fun with the Muppet Babies again same time next weekend. And stay tuned for Theodore Tugboat and the marvelous Madeline next on the Disney Channel.